About a month ago, I ordered a server from Shockbyte, a micro server hosting company. For some background, I needed the server there and then, the same day as I bought it because I was doing a project with someone and we needed the server there and then. So I go ahead and choose my plan and I pay for it. I select the location and I go about the payment as you usually do and the payment went through. I didn't get any warnings or any pop-up messages about anything. Everything went smooth. Right after I had purchased the server and I entered the control panel, I was met with a very disappointing message. We're currently sold out in the location you have chosen. Please wait up to X amount of hours. I believe it was 12 hours or something. Regardless of the amount of hours I was told to wait, this is the first issue. You don't put up a product for sale, sell the product, and then after the customer has paid, you tell them you're sold out. Now, I checked the terms of service on the site, and it says nothing about having to wait or about a potential we are sold out message appearing nor any warnings about high volumes of traffic resulting in the said sold out issue. And just to repeat, I needed the server there and then. So because of this, the server was now useless to me because by the time the server was ready, I was done with what I needed it for. Now, here we get to the part where poop hits the fan. Oh boy. I opened a ticket with the support team, requesting that I got my money back and the server I had ordered canceled. I did this the same day I ordered it, January 6th, aka within 24 hours. This will be relevant later on. The next day, January 7th, I received a reply. Though I wouldn't call it a reply because the person replying to this clearly didn't read my first message. I was told your server is currently active. This reply had nothing to do with the issue I was having and my request had been completely ignored. If anything makes me angry, it's people at support who don't read what the issue is about but just slaps on a copy paste response and call it good. Don't do that. The same day I got the reply, January 7th, I responded back, saying that the answer had nothing to do with my issue, complaining about being told the server I ordered was sold out after I had paid for it and once again requesting a refund. From that day, I waited 14 days without getting back a reply, and when I finally got one on January 1st, 21st, I got this. We are very sorry for the delay getting back to you. We have been getting a very high volume of requests, which is why we haven't been able to reply sooner. If you still need assistance with this, please make a new ticket. I made a clear request to get my money back and I waited two weeks without hearing back from them. And then they simply closed my ticket because of high volume of traffic. So just because you are getting a high request of tickets, you just cancel them to make room? Sure, that's a great idea, great customer service. Now it's time for a little info. According to their terms of service, you are eligible to get your money back if you request it within 24 hours, which in this case, I did. I repeat, this is, this is quoted from the terms of service, 24 hour money back guarantee. It gets even worse. I made a new request in between those two weeks of waiting on January 14th, re-explaining my issue and requesting my money back once more. I did this in case something had happened with the first ticket I made, maybe someone forgot to reply or whatever. What happened with the new ticket I made? Same treatment. They simply closed it due to high traffic on January 28th, meaning I had to wait another two weeks in this ticket just to get that useless response. Anyway. Extremely annoyed at this point, I simply went ahead and manually cancelled the server on January 23rd as the server, because the server was still running, it hasn't, hadn't been cancelled yet, and I did this after they had closed my first ticket. During the cancellation form, they requested I put in why I wished to cancel the server, where I simply put deeply dissatisfied. To my surprise, they created a ticket upon that cancellation request, asking why I wished to cancel the server, and if it was due to an issue with the server's pricing or just loss of interest. I notice it's a system instead of a name, so I assume it is an automated process sending that message out and not an actual person, which I understand as long as they actually reply to it. I reply to it on January 24th, a very long reply mind you, which I have yet to receive a reply to, to this date. They still have not answered. I also made a new ticket here in February on the 1st, still have gotten no answer yet, and it's been more than a week. It is currently the 9th of February. In their terms of service, if you request a refund within 24 hours, which I did, you are eligible to get your money back. It has been over a month since I requested my money back and they still haven't given it to me. Now outside of all this, I tried the Discord server, I tried a chat website thing they told people to use, 
didn't get in contact on either of it. To this day, I still haven't gotten my money back. Now, the conclusion. With all this in mind, due to the terrible customer service and that I still after a month haven't gotten my money back and also the fact that after I had paid for it I was told they were sold out. It's not that difficult to give that message beforehand. Like, just say, hey we're sold out, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, I would just have gotten another plan. But no, do it after you have paid. Anyway, I highly suggest to you that you do not get your Minecraft servers from Shockbite. They have terrible customer service and I would avoid them at all costs. At this point it doesn't matter how the servers perform, how well the, the UI dashboard thing is, which I never found out because I never used it. A company treating its customers like this should be boycotted. Anyway, that's my experience with Shockbite, terrible customer service and a terrible company. I hope this video has been helpful. Share it with your friends and whoever you know that might be ordering a microservice soon or to anyone already using Shockbite. Comment down below if you have had similar treatments by Shockbite or if you have had this exact opposite treatment. Do let me know down below, I'll be interested. In any case, thank you for watching and I wish you an amazing day. Goodbye. Zapu,